Hello friends, and welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft. When I started off this series, I had given myself two goals that I really needed to complete. Goal number one was expanding my creative horizons by building way out of my comfort zone. And goal number two was to try and survive every dangerous place that Minecraft a Hardcore had to offer. One of these dangerous places is the Nether. So that's what we're doing today. We're finally going to explore the nether as well as build one of our newest and biggest build projects yet. So make sure to stay until the end of the video to check it out. Okay, let's put that back in here. And oh my goodness, I forgot that I put my shield here. Oh, that is embarrassing. My bad. Let's just put that back in my offhand. And we are good to go. Okay, so before we go to the nether, I need to prepare myself, meaning that I need to get myself a golden helmet, which I already have one, so I don't need to waste my gold on that. And I also need some string and also some sticks. Uh, do I have sticks already? Oh, yes, I do. Because I really want to make a bow so that I can use it in the nether, because I know for a fact that I'm going to need that to take some gas down. So let's grab this. And then we can finally enchant it. I know that I only have 25 levels, but I don't really care that much. It's just as long as we get either power one or knockback on it, I'll be fine with that. I just need one of those enchantments to make my bow powerful enough to take out the gas so I don't have to worry about them. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's put this here and put some lapis lazuli. Unbreaking and power one. Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's grab that and we are good as gold Earlier when I was scouting out the area to find where I could potentially put the portal at I kind of came across two places and then I kind of just started battling in my mind between them And eventually in the end I came up with the conclusion that it would be better for the portal to go up on this little hillside Right here that way I can actually terraform it. It doesn't look ugly anymore and I don't need that much room for a portal anyways, so this is just a perfect area. And all we have to do is pretty much clear out the trees and sort of flatten it up. But yeah, for the most part, um, that's pretty much it. Yep, this is going to be where we're going to put the portal. I would also like to take a second and actually get some stuff done around here before I actually go into the nether. Um, one of those tasks being actually dyeing my cat's collars. I've been wanting to do that for a little while now, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a yellow and I'm also going to do a light blue. I'm not going to change your color, you're going to stay red. But yeah, for the kitties up here, we're going to change their collars. Um, I'm thinking for the black cat, you are going to have a nice light blue collar. And you are going to have a yellow collar. Okay, perfect. Now they have new collars that'll, you know, differentiate the, the you know, It'll help me tell them apart. Also, if you guys have any uh, good names for my dog and my cats, please be sure to comment down below. I would greatly appreciate it. I'd take as much feedback as possible. And also, I would like to decorate a little bit more around here. And also, I would like to switch this up real quick. Just in case, you know, I go to the nether and I forget, I don't want to die. So, we're going to switch our helmets. And I'm going to put this one in here for now. And we'll come back to it later. But yeah, I really want to decorate here. One thing that I really want to add to my house is those lovely pottery vases that I added into our mine last episode. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some of our bricks and I'm going to make some more vases and I'm just going to spread them around the house and also add some uh, leaves and some uh, azalea plants to them. And hopefully that'll bring out a little bit more greenery into the house. Okay, I think four vases is good enough for now. And I think the first one that I'm going to put in is in the kitchen. And then I'm thinking for the top part, I can put two of them like in the main bedroom area here. So maybe one in this corner, maybe? I'm, I'm still trying to figure stuff out because I actually want to plan on adding more furniture. Oh my goodness, I cannot talk more furniture in the future. But um, yeah, also I can't decide. Should I just put it right here or should I put it in the corner where the cat is? You know what? I'm sorry, I'm going to have to move you a little bit. Um, yeah, I think that's good for now. And then we can put one over here in the corner right here. Now all we have to do is get the azalea bushes and also the oak bushes.
With the way I'm using up all these azalea bushes, I'm going to have to bone meal some more here soon in the future. But I mean, come on, I love these. These are amazing plant designs. Um, I, I think I'm going to start using them more often in the future, especially with our more industrial builds. But yeah, look at this. I mean, this looks, this makes the place look like 10 times better. I absolutely love it. But I think that's uh, it for now. And I think we need to start focusing more on preparing for the nether because I still have a couple of things that I really need to get done. So let's put away all this stuff for now and let's go get everything that we need for our little trip. Where did I put that obsidian? Is it in here? I could have sworn I put it in a chest. Huh. Maybe maybe it's upstairs in the attic. One minute, let me check and see. Um, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, I almost forgot about that secret area. When we actually go into the nether, there are a few things that I want to get done. Uh, first off, I want to get a bunch of quartz so I can actually build with it here in the future, as well as I want to find some crimson and warped forest uh, logs so I can get those for building as well. And I also want to find a nether fortress so I can actually kill off some uh, blazes and get some uh, blaze rods so I can actually start brewing and stuff. Anyways, uh, let's clear this place out and put our portal down and get it ready to go. We're not doing anything too big or special with this portal. We're just going to do a traditional one. So obviously two, and then we're going to build it up by three. Uh, let's see. One and oh, move out my way, Bush. I do not need you here right now. Okay, so two and three, and then we build it across. Jump down. One and two, and then three. Oh, crap. Nope. I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, my goodness. Let me take that back and then we can finish building this up. One, two, three. And then we can step back, take a look. Let me eat some food. And yeah, pretty much it. Uh, let's take away these dirt blocks because I know for a fact that if I don't remove them, I'm probably gonna get a lot of people in the comments saying that it looks ugly and I do not want that. Uh, so come here give me back my dirt <laughs> uh, so yeah now all we have to do is light it up and we should be good to go for the most part that is uh so i think i gotta go get some flint and i also think i need to go get um something else i'm missing i think arrows it was anyways let's go get that stuff i mean how many arrows do we actually have in our storage because if we have a lot we can st no <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to help at all. Um, we're definitely going to need to make more arrows. So we're going to need some flint and we're going to need some feathers. Um, I could have sworn we had more. I'll have to check. And I also think we need sticks. Um, what else do I need? Let's see. There's no feathers in here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to check all over the place for this. Um, yeah, it looks like I'm probably going to have to go visit our barn real quick and uh, breed and kill some chickens. Okay, looks like we're going to have to go do that. I honestly think we're only going to need about a stack of seeds so far. I mean, we're not going to need a lot if we're going to breed up a bunch of chickens and also grow them and then rebreed them. So I think I think we should be good with that amount. Okay, chickens, make me some more babies. Here's one for you, and then here's a seed for you, a seed for you, a seed for you, and a seed for you. Um, sadly, you're going to have to be left out, and you're probably going to have to die. Let's kill off all these adult chickens, and this is probably going to take me a while, so I shall see you guys here in a little bit. Bye, kitties. I shall miss you both very, very much. Oh, bye, house. Bye, doggy. Oh, I shall miss you all. Oh, this is the terrifying part right here. Having to go in there, not expect, like, not being able to expect what's going to happen. Do I have everything? Oh, my goodness. I think I have everything. I might... You know what? Wait. You know what? I'm going to do it. I got to I gotta make some golden apples. At first, I wasn't going to do it, but I have a feeling that I'm going to need them. So I'm going to take some of my old apples, and I'm going to take some of my secret gold that I've been hiding in my treasure chest, and I'm going to bring along with me some golden apples. Okay, so I have my golden apples, and I also have my enchanted sword. I almost forgot to do that. But now I feel like I am 98% ready to do this, so let's just go. This honestly feels almost ceremonial. Oh, let's just do this. Let's light it. Oh, 
Okay. Here we go. Goodbye, world. Oh, I sure loved building and exploring in ya. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, this, this, let's hope I don't die. I am praying that I do not die because I do not want to lose out on this world. Please give me a good spawn. Okay, let's see what we got here. Actually, it doesn't look that bad over here. We might have actually gotten a good spawn and... Is that a crimson forest? Oh, we spawn right next to a crimson forest. Oh my goodness. And we also have a lot of quartz around us. That's good. So it looks like we're going to have to get our two objectives done first. And we'll have to worry about the nether fortress later. So on and so forth. I think we're doing pretty good so far. Just as long as we don't have to worry about any gasp, I think we'll be fine. And as soon as I said that, guess what shows up on the sound bar? Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, wow, that was a close one. <laughs> well, there goes my XP. Um, this is going to be interesting. I got to be really careful with this. Um, let's block this. Oh, that would have been a bad, bad thing if I had just fallen and just died. That would have been a terrible death right there. But um, let's see, can I get this? Yes, I can. Okay, let's grab this. No, not my XP. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I'm honestly having a hard time deciding whether or not I want to explore the Crimson Forest or if I want to explore this area over here. I feel like maybe I should explore this area over here first and then explore- oh, that's a ghast. That is a ghast. I am going this way. Yep, I'm gonna just go this way and find whatever I need to find and then we'll worry about the Crimson Forest later. Oh boy. Sometimes I forget how much quartz there actually is inside the nether. I mean, it is completely insane. This inner cavern actually looks pretty cool, and there's more quartz for us to get, so I guess that's a plus. Okay, hello, Mr. Zombie Piglin. Um, you mind moving a little bit? I don't want to accidentally hit you when I get this. Oh, uh, yeah. I gotta be extremely careful with the zombie piglins because, um, I don't have the best control over my buttons, and there is a good chance that I could actually hit them and anger them, so I gotta be really careful with this. Uh, let's grab this, and no, no, not my quartz. Oh, crap. That happened again. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, we actually got a pretty good spawn point for the nether. I mean, this place is huge, and we don't have to worry about that many mobs. So, uh, I'd say that's a win-win for me, I'd say. Just gonna grab this little group of quartz here. Honestly, I don't know how much we have. I haven't even checked my inventory yet, and I just, oh, my goodness. I probably have a lot of quartz by now, because I've already taken out, like, a bunch of groups of them. Anyways, oh, was that a gasp? Oh, that was a gasp. Oh, uh, where's my bow? Where's my bow? Ah, here's my bow. Oh, and I also, also, uh, almost have three stacks. Okay, where are you? Come here, come here. Yes, I killed him. Okay, uh, did he drop a gasp here? One minute, let me, uh, let me grab this last little bit of quartz, and then let's go see... Did he drop a gasp tear? Please tell me he did. Please tell me he did. No, just gunpowder. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Um, but hey, at least I took down my first gas in hardcore, so. And there's the other one. Oh, missed. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is insane. Oh, die, die. Oh, that was hor horrible. Nope, don't even. Oh, I actually did that. I wasn't even trying to do that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I did it again. Oh, this is insane. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is happening. This is happening. Okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, I'm trying to be very careful. I'm trying to avoid the fireballs. Oh, this is insane. This is insane. Oh, and there's now magma cubes. Nope, I'm getting out of here. Magma cubes are the worst. I do not want to deal with any of those. We got to get out of here. We just... We, we... I actually forgot to grab some of this glowstone earlier, so I think that's what I'm going to do now. I don't know if I'm going to take the entire column with me, but I'm just going to try and get enough at least for a stack, maybe. Just so I have some other kind of, like, glowing, you know, lighting fixtures, other than torches or lanterns. Okay, Crimson Forest, show me what you got hiding. Let's see. Hmm. Hopefully I don't run into any hoglins, because those things are just complete total beasts, and they are just totally rude to especially in hardcore. Um... You know what, let's just grab some of these logs real quick, and if we run into them, we run into them. So I'm just going to grab some of these so that I can use them in the building future. And also, hmm, I'm also going to grab some of these shroom lights. Come here. Nope, I got to I gotta use my axe, of course. Come on. Oh, I got to be careful. I got to be careful. Okay, give me this. Okay, perfect. Now let's go get some more logs. 
I don't know where we should go downstairs. We gotta be very careful because there's a bunch of lava. You know what? Oh, there's some over here. We'll just go down here and we'll kind of like make our way more down through here, if that kind of makes sense. And there's more zombie piglins. Okay, so let's get down here. And yeah. Oh, there's also more uh, quartz. <laughs> let's grab this and then we can worry about getting the more logs. Oh, nope, that's a hoglin. Nope, build up, build up, build up. Nope, I am not dealing with those. Not right now. Um, Let's see. Uh, let's grab the rest of this tree, and then afterwards we can just head on over to another area to explore. Um, I think we've already collected a good enough amount of logs and shroom lights, so I don't think um, we need to worry about coming back here for a little bit. So let's just get out of here as fast as we can and stay away from the hoglins. Let's go. I'm going to try and explore this lower part of the nether for a little while and hopefully I can maybe find a nether fortress, hopefully, because I really want to find one. I know that I keep saying that, but it's literally the truth. I really want to find one so I can actually get the stuff needed for brewing and all that, so I can actually get potions and all that. So, yeah, um, I'm going to just keep my hopes up for that. And oh, hello, Mr. Piglin. Um, excuse me, do not mind me. Just, uh, excuse me. No! Oh, oh, where did you come from? Oh, I did not see that gas. I swear to God, I did not see him. Oh, no, no, no. Eat my beef. Eat my beef. Eat my beef. I swear. Oh, my goodness. I swear I did not see him. I did not see that guy. I swear I checked. I checked like three times. Okay, pull out my bow. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Okay, he's gone. Okay. I'm just trying to go as far in as possible um, so I can explore. There's another gasp over there. Okay, um, looks like I'm probably going to have to go the different route and I'm going to have to probably dig into this little mountain area on the side over here. So I think I'm just going to do that now. You know what? Instead of cobble, we're going to use nether rack because I feel like that's just going to be a little bit easier than having to use up all my cobble. So um, we got to get down here real fast. And I can see magma blocks down there. Hopefully that does not mean there's magma cubes nearby because, oh goodness. You know what? I just, I hate everything in the, in the nether. <laughs> everything that has to do with the nether, just, it, it, it just sucks. It sucks so bad. Looks like we're gonna have to make a jump for it. Oh, okay. Uh, build this up real quick. Um, you know what? Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, check. Is there any gas? Nope. Uh, we're good so far. Other than the magma cube, I think we are fine. We do have to uh, keep a lookout for that magma cube though, so uh, let's just build this up real quick. This area actually looks like it goes further in, so I think that's a good way to start to look for... Oh my goodness, that is going to bother me so much. Um, let's fix this, let's fill these holes in. That is just going to bother me so much if I do not fix it. Um, anyways, uh, is that a ghast? That is a ghast! Okay, of course. Um, oh, great, I just wasted an arrow, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he, that was a close one. He almost blew up my uh, staircase. Nope, do not, do not. No, <gasps> no, oh, no, he hit me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I need to run, I need to run. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, my goodness, no. Hit you with the sword. Can I even hit you with the sword? No, I gotta get close enough to you. No. Oh, my goodness, go away, please. Go away. I do not want to see. No, I'm on fire again. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Where's my golden apples? Oh my goodness. I need to hide behind the staircase. Hide behind the staircase now. Oh my God. I'm going to die. I am going to die. I am going to die. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Eat my beef. Eat my beef. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. You know what? I'm going to take a second real quick and uh, reconvene. But I got, I got to take a second real quick and actually breathe. Because I almost died. Come on, buddy. Come over here. Yes! Okay, I finally took him down. Okay, did he drop a gas here? Let's go find out. Oh, I think he did. He did! Yes! Okay, perfect. Oh, we took down another gas and we actually got a gas here. That is amazing. Wow. Okay, so uh, point for Aspen. Zero points for the gas. And also, I'm going to take more of this. Since it's already here, I might as well take it. Um... But yeah, we're doing pretty good so far, but I am running out of inventory space. 
Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head back to the overworld and I'm gonna clear out my inventory and then I'm gonna come back and hopefully find another fortress so we can actually complete this entire uh, journey of ours and we can finally uh, do what we need to do, so on and so forth. Okay, don't mess this up, don't mess this up, come on. Wait, where did he go? Oh crap, he disappeared. Oh no, not again. Ugh. Uh, I'm trying to get more gas tears. Uh, hopefully another one spawns in. There's another one right there. Yep, there's another one. Get it, get it, get it. Die. Oh crap, I missed. Come on. Got this. Yes! Perfect. Okay, now uh, let's grab this. Oh, there's another one over there. Gotta be careful though, because there's an enderman all the way over there, and I do not want him to see that I'm looking at him. Come on. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, grab up this XP real quick. We actually haven't explored up here yet, so I think that that's what I'm going to do real quick. And, oh yeah, there's a gas behind me. Um, let's find shelter real quick. Where? <gasps> there's a cave. Perfect. You know, I think I'm getting a lot better with the bow, actually. I'm able to actually fully control it much better. Usually I don't do so well with the bow in Pocket Edition, but I'd say I'm improving. So I'm going to take out these skeletons real quick, and then we're going to go from there. Okay, I think we're good now. Let's uh, get out of here real quick. And oh my god, he just spawned right next to us. Oh! What the heck? What are the odds of that actually happening? Okay, um, where did he go? One minute, I gotta take this guy out. He literally almost blew me to bits. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> How many times have I already almost died to a freaking gas hit here? You know what? Nope, I'm heading out of here. I'm getting the heck out of here. I, I can't do this. Oh, I need a break from the nether really badly. Okay, we're back in the overworld. I'm going to take a quick break from the nether real quick. I'm thinking maybe we take this time to actually change up our portal and actually decorate it and make it look good. Also, my cherry tree's fully grown. Let's take this down real quick so we can actually plant some more. Oh, yes, that beautiful cherry wood. I don't know what I'm going to build with this, but I'm, I'm going to think of something because I really want to use the cherry wood very badly. Um, you... You know what, if um, you guys have any suggestions on what I can use the cherry wood for, please let me know down in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I know for a fact that I'm going to need a lot more oak wood than I already have, because for this next build, I am going to need a bunch of it. Uh, considering the fact that I had put up a poll like a couple weeks ago asking like what you guys wanted me to do for like the nether portal build, and a lot of you chose the tree stump idea, so that's what I am going to do, which requires me to actually get more oak wood and a lot of oak leaves. So, I honestly don't know how I want to sort of like lay this out. I'm thinking maybe I just start off with like sort of like a four by four-ish circle and then kind of like build it up and then try to add like the roots and the branches and just try to make it look all very natural and wild. So... I'm going to try that, and if it doesn't work, then we can try and do another building technique, so on and so forth, so. Looking back on it now, this is going to take me forever to actually build, because I'm already out of oak wood, and I've only been building for about 25 to 30 minutes, so uh, I've decided that I am going to clear out this whole entire area of trees that are right next to our mine, so... I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone, kind of, so I guess I'm just going to have to take that as a win-win. But yeah, for the most part, I've gotten the trunk done, and I have also started working on some of the branches. If you can actually see over here real quick, let me uh, try and get a little bit of a zoom up going. Yeah, I tried my best. Um, I still need to sort of like thicken up the branches a little bit so they don't look like scrawny like twigs. Um, also, wh why did I leave this here? Oh no, let me get rid of that. I don't know why I would leave this here. That just really, that really just hurts my brain. Okay. I should have gotten rid of that a while back, but okay. Uh, anyways, yeah, so far everything's doing pretty good. I'm going to finish clearing out this area and then I'm going to get back to building. Like I said, I've been trying to thicken up the branches a little bit, especially like where they start out from the trunk and then sort of like thinning them out the further out they go if that kind of makes sense. So I'm really trying my best to make this look as good as possible. And considering the fact that this is my first time building like a gigantic custom tree, I'd say I'm doing pretty okay. For, for the most part, I'm doing pretty okay. Four and a half hours later, we are finally complete with the custom tree portal. 
My goodness, this took me so long because I kept running out of supplies and having to go get some more. But we finally finished it. We finally added the last finishing details. We added the path and everything is just a okay. Um, but yeah, we added a lot in here as well as this uh, barricade wall that I also did in like the first episode with our starter house. The, the deep slate barricade wall I really like because it kind of just brings out the path a little bit more going around. And as for the inside of the tree, um, it's empty. <laughs> I haven't put much in it. Uh, it. It does house the nether portal, of course, but uh, we'll have to decorate that later. But for now, I am just so exhausted from building this. But yeah, we did a pretty great job with this, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, I sure had a lot of fun today, but sadly, this is the end of the video. I can't wait to see you guys on the next episode of our Hardcore Minecraft series, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss another Minecraft vid, and I shall see you guys next time.